all right hello friends another week we are at that midway midweek hump happy hump day y'all hope everybody is having a fabulous cozy day i think we've got a lot of chat to catch up on so don't mind me i'm gonna scroll up i i, I don't want to miss any of the lovely messages so we've got coming in first was emmy second is toasty and third is merrick by the way friends when you snipe those first second and third positions you earn seven sweet sweet comms so enjoy your comms i hope you like them uh merrick son of a gun double snipe sorry merrick and i asked are you really <laughs> to merrick yes toasty is not evidently emmy says that she likes merrick and then she started right off the bat sending a Donberry after JT. So I said to come. I'm 91% chaotic today, evidently. Emmy continued to work on boosting her chaos level. <laughs> Shane got his daily comms and got a zero. Oh no. <laughs> Emmy, you're totally not sorry. What the heck? I'm way more chaotic than 28%. Uh, Toasty's coming in with 80% chaotic today. How? How is this possible? I don't know, Shane. Uh, Merrick. Ooh, we don't think we got your chaos level, Merrick. Guess we'll have to see you try that later. Uh, we got some more time barriers going on. Dang right. <laughs> Shane sending his face. That's a lie. 6% is incorrect. Anyways, back to cooking dodos with Wyvern Breath and Ark. All right, enjoy Ark, friend. Hope you're having a good time with that. Uh, Emmy finally got the desired level of chaos of 93%. It's about right. 31% cozy. I'm only 2%. Uh, Emmy's biscuit level is at 41. I'm at 62. Your corn level is 10. Mine's 71. Not too bad. Not too bad. And then poor Toasty got shanked again as he was lurking. So I gave a comm back to Toasty. <laughs> oh, and it's cold out. I don't like it. All right. That's officially got up. <laughs> it is cold out. I also am not quite enjoying it. Although I, I am privileged to have a car that starts itself to warm up. So I kind of like that. Oh, it's a raid time, y'all. We just started and we're raiding. <laughs> hey, King of the Cask, welcome in. Ubu's for all. It's a king raid, y'all. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. Greetings and salutations. I'm Effector of Change. King of the Cask, thank you. You were streaming some Animal Crossing New Horizons. I, I I will admit, I have not been taking care of my animals on the island probably since October of last year, 21. <laughs> oh, you quit. You're playing Kingdom Hearts. Noise, noise. Uh, let's see who we've got new today. We've got Inspect insect politician welcome on in king of the cask is here hello 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 tom nook is so mad i'm sure he is <laughs> and old crossing is fabulous yes welcome in raiders uh i'm factor of change my pronouns are he they i am a cozy rpg streamer mostly playing jrpgs some indie games a little bit of retro some variety and hopefully soon some dungeons and dragons so love stories love cozy vibes uh if you're into that feel free to drop a follow um thank you king of the cask for sharing your community with me and trusting that uh, the vibes would be right <laughs> appreciate that friend i'm glad that uh you thought of me as someone that you felt comfortable sharing your community with raiders if y'all been enjoying the wonderful vibes of king of the cask and you need to get a drink get a little snacky if you're gonna hang out feel free to go do that i'll be here um if you want to just go get up and stretch your legs and go run around and head out that's cool too there's no obligation to stay 
But yes, I hope uh, you all enjoy your time here. Spirit Fair is cozy. I have only played the demo. So this is my first time actually playing the full game since I purchased it. So I'm really excited to see. I liked the mechanics of it when I played it and I've seen a few streams of it, but this is my actual first playthrough of uh, this game. So I'm real excited for it. Uh, Merrick says, I'll totally be here listening to D&D. Noise, noise. Emmy rolled a two. Not, not quite, a, quite a nat 20, is it? Um, I do believe that if you do roll a nat 20, you get uh, some commendations for your critical success, which is nice. But yes, welcome in Raiders. Hope you're all here. Let's give a nice big old shout out to King. And we'll get another overlay for you, friend. There we go welcome on in y'all give a follow to king if you aren't already i think you will enjoy the vibes <laughs> what did you roll a 17 does that meet or exceed the ac i'm sure that does king that sounds really nice <laughs> toasty it says the lives of the dodos will be spared i will stay okay well welcome in toasty good to see you glad you're hanging out for the vibes but yes tonight we're going to be playing spirit fair i decided to switch up my schedule a little bit i got a little burned out playing little wood it's a cute game it's cozy as heck but i was kind of at the end game and just really grinding at that point it wasn't as fun for me so i figured wednesday is right now going to just be a variety slot kind of going with the flow to enjoy streaming because we're starting to feel a little bit like a chore oh big lump of knobs it has the juice indeed emmy it is corn <laughs> so spirit fair is a, a fabulous cozy game um i know a lot of people i work with this time of year you know are talking about losses and the experiences that they're going through trying to cope with that I know it's been a heck of a year for a lot of people, so I wanted to uh, offer to stream tonight as well, just to kind of make a nice little cozy, cozy spot for people to hang. Uh, Mirag, you rolled a 13. Lucky 13. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I feel like that's going to be the stream now. Everyone's just going to be rolling for challenges. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yes. All right. So let me switch over to our game screen here. It's thinking about it. It is. Come on. You can do it. There. Is it going to load? Even just the music starting the game is so cozy. Toasty, you got a 16? That's pretty good, friend. Hey, Squid Monarchy. Welcome on in. All my friends are here. So many cool people. Uh, let me see here. Let's get a shout out for Squid Monarchy. Squid is working on their journey towards affiliate i think they're up to almost 30 followers now which is fantastic they've been playing a lot of neverwinter nights um it's a D, D game so we're gonna give a nice old shout out to squid monarchy let's help them achieve their dreams to be an affiliate here on twitch so they can enjoy the cozy chaos but welcome on in, friend. Good to see you. Please drop them a follow while we get our game set up. So this is Spirit Fair. It's pretty. Oh, you're right, Toasty. Yes. Uh, typically, when Squid Monarchy is streaming, they are not only streaming a wonderful D&D game. They tend to be the number one uh, Neverwinter Nights streamer here on Twitch. So if you enjoy D&D... And some cozy chaos. Give them a follow. <laughs> yes, and if Squid gets affiliate, we're gonna get some funny voices for channel point redeems. That'll be awesome.
This game is so pretty. It's a little laggy though. Let me fix that. One second, friends. Get rid of that. I think I still have Discord open. We can close Discord. Get rid of this. Did I break my camera? I might have just broke my camera. Nope. It's still working. Okay. All right. That should help. This game is really pretty. Ah, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. The Spirit Fair. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden, then, and take it over from me. As I said in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world, and that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and then, when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. Uh, you will fare the spirits, yes! You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There's no task more important than this one. Never forget that, Stella. Here, this is something I need to give you. Now be really careful with it. Dig in the music, I know, it's so good, it's so cozy. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you'll ever need. Wait, what are you? Oh no! How highly inappropriate! <laughs> oh no, what's happening? Well, that settles it. The upper light will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. so pretty. I need some cozy since I've been dipping deeply in the chaos. Oh, yeah, you've been working pretty hard on some of those hard those hard runs of the, the Bucky game. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there's no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You're the new spirit bearers after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I'm gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. Uh, Bucky is fun to watch, but the opposite of cozy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like any time you pop into an obsessive repulsive stream and he's playing those old NES titles that are just really hard. 
<laughs> it's, it's fun to watch. I agree. Uh, if uh, Vector of Change is the king of cozy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Obsessive. I know. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Yes, it is fun to watch him struggle. Oh, there goes Charon. He's retiring. Bye bye. It's been great. Good luck. <laughs> we love to watch him bang his head against the wall. Oh no. <laughs> he also says, I am taking a bath while jumping out of plane. Context? I don't understand that, Emmy. What? <laughs> oh, look. I can jump. I can move. Oh, my boat's gone. Uh, okay. Inventory. Okay. Press A to jump. Hold A to jump higher. Hmm. Oh, he was describing Emmy's brand of chaos. It's like taking a bath while jumping out of a plane. Oh. Hold up while jumping to climb through platforms. Okay. Hold down A to drop down. Okay. We're figuring out controls, y'all. Ooh, and Wild Omanite has appeared in the chat, friends. Feel free to go grab and catch that one using Poke Catch. Okay. Okay, so it's not that button. Square? Mm -hmm. Stella, it really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm -hmm. You look good. And Daffodil's here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> it might not be that obvious mm -hmm. after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, it means so. You were the new spirit fairer. Mm -hmm. You're the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Hmm. Funny how you used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm -hmm. Of course. See that boat over there? Yes, I do. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me on the deck mm. over there. I'll explain it all. Ooh, Gratz King, you got your omenite. Very nice. We're getting a little boat. Can I go in this door? Can I ring the bell? I can ring the bell. Yay. That's cute. Can I get on this balcony? Cute. It's a little junky. Oh, we sit on the couch and we cuddle with the kitty. Oh my gosh. I love this game already. I'm petting the cat. Yay. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh no. All right, there we go. <laughs> Too funny. It is, it's a houseboat. Burb, what if I go in the water? Does it kill me? No. What is this? Empty shell, I can pick whatever that up is. They're like barnacles. Muscles. I don't know how to get out of the water. I think I'm stuck. I think I could probably get up over here. Oops.
Whee! We are back. Gonna make something to eat real quick. Alrighty. I hope you're making something yummy. Okay. Here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as you're the spiritfarer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Oh. Hugs are requested. Ooh, fried eggs and toast. Nom. That Merrick says better bring enough for the rest of the class. <laughs> Ooh, look at these interactions. We can give, we can give food, hugs. Let's do a hug. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. <laughs> All right. We taking a look at the chaos. Mm. Oh no. Mm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. Beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should go do something about this. Or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm. There's only one way to clean this place up. You have to meet Albert. Nice. He's your local shipwright. His jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. Here, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin in the mm -hmm. back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very meticulously. Go open up that cabin, mm -hmm. Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you should. You just have to go to Albert Shipyard. Okay. Got a key for this door. Press whatever that is to review active quests. Here. Here. That. That must be Captain's Log shenanigans oh no what are shenanigans <laughs> oh no i'm hungry again i'm in a constant state of ang hunger oh no all right we got inside the cabin look at this little bed i love the little lights up here and there's these little clocks and the blankets got little stars on it how cute So this is the Everdoor. Okay. Guess we're going that way. Stella, as I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm -hmm. You must admit it's quite fascinating. Look. I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Charon, the Everdor, Spiritfarers, this place, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to make, to help you and try to make sense mm -hmm. of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Mm -hmm. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Ooh. Is this the fishing rod? It is. Hold X to reel. Okay. We got a shoe. Delicious.
and another shoe. Anything else? Come on. A fish. We got a herring. All right. All right, looks like we got to this island. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we're just close to it. So apparently hugging is an important mechanic in this game. I love that. Okay, we didn't quite, quite make it to the island. Oh look, the background moves. That's cute. Albert Shipyard discovered. Alrighty. Hey girl, here we are. Hey. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of, considering the smell I'd see at least seven different types of dirt and dust. <laughs> oh, does this take us to the island? Oh, the little oars are cute. I love that. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Thanks, Emmy. Aw, oh, that's so sweet, Emmy. Thank you for the resub. Let's give a nice shout out to our friendly pal, Emmy. Emmy is a wonderful cozy streamer as well. She is the chaos to my cozy, y'all. <laughs> if you enjoy the cozy vibes here and you feel you're in need of a little bit of some chaos, Emmy is your girl. Feel free to give her a follow. She's been doing a lot of Xenogears lately. She also plays some spooky games that I hide under a blanket while she plays. <laughs> so spooky. Cozy. She's Chaos Incarnate. Yeah, she's the Chaos. Did I say it wrong? She's the Chaos to my Cozy. Yeah. All right. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new Spirit Fair? Well, of course you are. Anyway. You've been able to start this ship and bring it all here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha, let me see what you got. A <laughs> nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like one I'd built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. Hmm. Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this alone. Let me tell you something. We know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Rah, rah, rah. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing we'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, I'm feeling generous. I'll offer it to you. Free of charge, mind you. Just a little bit of bare bones in terms of functionality, but the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade your ship. Alright. You are the yin and yang. <laughs> I can be cozy when I want. That's true, Emmy. You do have some cozy vibes. As you sick... Uh, the thing on Obsess. I don't think Obsessive's here. <laughs> You're just attacking people who aren't even here. Oh my goodness. Why? Why, Emmy? <laughs> You're just feeling it. Okay. Oh, Obsessive. I don't even know if I can give you a calm Obsessive if you're not here. 
it might not let me. It says it did, but I don't know if it actually does. Talk. All right, upgrade. Uh, let's give calm with uh, no S at the end at me. All right, beginner. We are a beginner blueprint. So we need to get some materials for upgrades, it seems. Okay. Um, we need to get some Dreamlight to make a bigger boat. Ooh, a mailbox. Okay. Want to upgrade your boat on your guy. Okay. So we'll come back here, I guess, later, it seems, to get some upgrades. Is this the blueprint thing? Looks like it. Okay. Alright guys, we are at the half hour mark. So we're going to... Oh, you did not bring enough back. Oh no. We're going to take a quick ad break for about 90 seconds or so. So that uh, nobody misses the gameplay. So this is a great reminder to practice some self-care. Get your legs stretched, refill your drink. I'll be back really soon with a little bit more of this beautiful, cozy title. BRB, y'all. Hopefully your ad break was not a stressful experience and you got something interesting to see. <laughs> uh, King says, I only have six eggs in the house. Yeah, that's not going to feed a whole stream worth of people. You got to do what you got to do, friend. <laughs> Good. Albert gave it to you for free and he said he loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway. Let's focus on the task at hand. Cleaning up this deck, you can put your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Okay. Um, yes, edit. Look at all the junk. Um, salvage. Yes. I don't think there's anything else there, is there? Wonderful. Look at that nice, clean boat, y'all. Looks so much better. No more couch. Oh, I know. But we have this cozy bed in here. It's too bad you can't go in it yet. Hmm. You did a wonderful job, Stella, and the good news is you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. 
newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep not really. I can tell for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in here. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff. The humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Okay. So we've got a build. Uh... There we go, guest house. And I love that you can put it on stilts. That's so cool. We're gonna put her on the ground floor. Here. Is that a talking bipedal deer? It is. And she's smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at least I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What's going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am. But remember... You, but I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it, and you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try, but I'll probably choke on the bone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as it sounds, you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plants for it in there, as well as the necessary resources. Dang. Do you need bright jelly? There's only one way to get one. I... Look. I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scares the heck out of me. A dark presence, and I even... I cower from it. The void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Yeah, I'm aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. I'll have to face my fear. But you're here. With you, I can do it. It'll appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. Okay. Well, look at her room. Here's the couch. It's right there. We just put it in her room, Toast or uh, Squid. Her room is cute, and there's a picture of me and the cat. Very nice. Uh, back to the Dino game that is no longer a Dino game because gun. Okay. Guess we need to get more fish. It's like the game knew people would be upset that they couldn't cuddle with the cat anymore. <laughs> I'm loving that these fishing mechanics are not stressful so far. They're pretty chill. All right, so we've got a build a kitchen. Oh, we've got to go find things. Okay. So we got to take the ship. Is this what she meant by the darkness? Those are crates. We'll go there first. Uh, yay! I don't need to cuddle the cat when I can have a small shoulder dough that lights up. <laughs> don't ask me how, but I've already met Albert. He's definitely a shark. His interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as boat upgrades, he sells at outrageous prices, but those who will be able to cross ominous weather barriers. They look like classical mythical challenges again. A bit cliche. Spirit shark do 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 do. <laughs> Toasty, when are you getting your new kitty cats? Is that next week? It's too dark to navigate. It will be possible again at dawn. Stella, 
Ah, yes. Forgot to tell you, as you can see, the boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight, well, being light. Or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You in the meantime can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill out on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy room in your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me. Waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Oh, that's what the bell's for. I wondered. Uh, spirit about that person is sick and the cold front negative 18 wind chill where I am. What is negative 18 Fahrenheit and Celsius? Look at that. That's cold as heck. <laughs> Remember, only do it at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. That was very cold, toasty. So don't just ring the bell incessantly, I think is what she was saying. <laughs> We'll fish one more fish, and then we'll go to bed. Yeah, it's getting pretty chilly here too. What is it at the moment? My phone says it is... 27 degrees. I uh, just put a space. 29 and then F is a space and it should do it for you. I love that command. It's so, so helpful because I've got a lot of Canadian folks or UK folks and our numbers mean nothing. <laughs> And their numbers mean nothing to me. <laughs> yes. We want to sleep until morning. It makes life a little easier to transcribe that just right in the chat. Uh, press LB to toggle the clock's trajectory. This thing. She doesn't have a bed though, does she? Oh, she's like sleeping standing up. Interesting. Here comes the sun. Good morning, Stella. Let's give her a hug. Giving you love. All right, so. Do I just swim? Is that how you get the things? Press down and A to dive. Hi. Ooh, we got seeds, we got mats, that's cool. Is that it? Looks like that's it. Okay. to navigate to this thing. It's kind of nice. It doesn't seem to be like an energy bar. So I can just kind of freely do activities without worrying about running out of energy.
Getting a lot of boots, though. If I just hold it, does it keep going? It does. Ooh, it's getting spooky. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out. Go ahead. I believe in you. What am I supposed to do? Just jump into these things. Get up there. Holy cow! They're like fireworks. They're so cool. Oh, those are the jellies we want. Maybe? Fantastic. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Without the slightest fear or hesitation, you definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. You even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently wetting, slowly digesting myself. Creepy. Oops. Okay. Build. Kitchen. Just put the kitchen here. Boop. You can now use the kitchen's oven. Should be rather simple. Hi, kitty cat. Hello. Put any one ingredient in the oven. Just wait for it to be cooked. Even look at those loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. Can't wait to see your cooking in glory again. You got this. Okay. Cook. It's corn. Cute. So it goes tick 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 ding. Otherwise you burn it. Cute. There's herring. Always good with French fries. What if I cook one of these? Looks like it's much slower. So I think you have to kind of slowly watch that kitchen. Okay. We'll give you food in a second. I don't want to burn the thing. Okay, I can probably do it. Here, here's popcorn. That's nutritious. 
Uh, well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. Better than I could thought it'd be. But then again, you've always been wonderful. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'd be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember, I've always loved comfort food. I would die for a cup of coffee. Not that I'm picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, there was something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but an opal is a symbol of passage. It's a free fee for each spirit has to pay you, but something tells me you knew that already. All right, let's keep on improving this craft. So you've seen in our blueprint table, there's a field and a garden, which means you can grow different things and turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier for you to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen, which in turn can be used to craft other things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use on it, but that will come later. Need you to visit an island close by. It's called Molston Cave. There's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Oh no, our food's burning! <laughs> oh no! Steep shellfish. Is it burned? No? I guess it's okay. <laughs> Let's make a herring. Oh, it takes a little while to make. Alright, so that's going. She wants us to go to an island nearby. Actually, hold up. I'd rather go here first, and then we'll go to the island. How's that? So it's like a resource management kind of game now. That's cute. I don't want to burn the fishy. <laughs> Make little oven mitts. That's so cute. All right, so we made some fish. Very cool. So she said she suggests we build. Oh, I don't have the items to make that. We've got to figure out how to get some more of these mats. Whoop. Jump. Oh, the kitty's on its little ball. Got some quartz. How do I get out? Up here? There we go. Don't think I probably can make the thing, but we'll check. Nope. Okay. a cozy little game. I like it. Just hanging out. The kitty cat is adorable.
nothing too fancy in the order yet. To Mustine Cove. Look at that. Talk to you in just a second. Don't want to burn my food. Seems forgiving so far. Okay. Alright. We should hop on that island. Maybe we'll find something interesting. So we need our little boat. Oh, I guess I should have waited for her to get on the boat with us. Is she already here? There she is. Okay. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yeah, it's fine, I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you actually need. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Oh, that's cute. They made a little saw together and I have to... Oh, back and forth. That's cute. That's so adorable. Oh, the kitty helped. Uh, I need to pick up this game at some point. I know it's on my Steam wish list. Yes. I'm really liking it. It's so pretty. Oh, all right. Let's go talk to our friend. Gwen. Gwen's her name. Congrats! For you have become Death the Destroyer of Worlds. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You can go ahead, cutting down more trees, then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Okay. Uh, I watched a friend play it a while back, just seemed very calming. So far, yeah. I love this axe. The teamwork with the kitty cat. I think you can also play this game in local co-op mode. I saw that as an option on the starting screen. So if you have a, a person that you're with and you want to play together, that is also apparently an option. Kind of work on managing your island together. Whoops. Yeah. I think that's it for this island. Okay. It's kind of giving me, um, I don't know why, Wind Waker vibes with all the little islands. Legend of Zelda. Because they're so tiny, these islands. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's the tree. Another raspberry. I can't eat fruit. I just can't. Can you eat... Grilled fish? Okay. 
Off we go, back to the ship. She's in her room. Oh, I'm petting the kitty. You can just pet the cat. So you go to the cat, hit down, and then select. And you cuddle the kitty. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, we're going to take another quick ad break. We are at the half hour mark. It is the way to keep pre-rolls off the stream and to make the twitch gods happy we must please the twitch gods so please use this as a chance to take some self-care if you haven't taken your medication today it's just a friendly reminder that you might want to work on that and we'll be back very shortly for some more cozy spirit fair vibes be back friends We had a good break. We want to build a field. Kitchen. Guest house. Field. Not a lot of space is there on this ship. Can I not do anything with it? There we go. She said we should grow some linen. We'll grow our three linen. And we water it. Okay. The soil changes a color. Can you oversaturate? Maybe. I wonder what happens if you cook a berry? Does it make like a pie or something? The stars are pretty. Oh my gosh, look at her hat. I just realized her hat is a little star. It's a five pointed star. That's adorable. Let's 
And I like that her little starlight just gives her a little bit of a glow wherever she goes. It's so cute. Poor Gwen, she's sleeping standing up. She needs a bed. There's the moon. Looks like food's ready. Okay, we got poached fruit. New recipe. The field is cute. Yes! Sleep until morning. We're doing a little stretchy. We're gonna pet our kitty cat. <laughs> Love the kitty. We're gonna ring our bell. Pick up! looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. But you know me, I could kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. He set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once and was on dis his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingburg then. We just need to find some seeds for that field. Okay. So we've got a new destination in mind. Ooh, it's right there. Our map's a little bit bigger. Can't get across that, but... Ooh, that's where we are right now. Okay. So we want to go here, get those crates, what is that, that was weird. And our boat's slowing down. We're hitting some crates. Wonderful. Oop. I'm gonna dive under here. Got some limestone. Earth quartz. And more seeds. to the town. An old shoe. There's a lot of old shoe in this ocean for some reason. I wonder why people are losing their shoes. Oh, 
All right, Hummingbird Discurber. What's going on in the field? Is that the wheat, those flowers? Oh yeah, look how dry the soil is. I love the little flowers it's making. That's so cute. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on the island. Let's pay him a visit. Okay. Gwen and I are going to go to the village. Anything over here? Nope. Figured out it yet. I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. <laughs> Should I stalk you? I'll scream if you don't stop following me. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, that's funny. Be gone, stranger. <laughs> He's so mad. Stroll a day keeps the doctor away, which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. Why do I think about health all of a sudden? I'm certainly suddenly starting to feel unwell. I'm not sick. I'm okay. Bro, you're dead. I don't think you're feeling okay at all. Alright, so we can go in these little houses. Oops. How the cat can open the door for some reason. Ooh, it's going after the furry bee. The furry bee, if you are lurking, there is a tonberry on your tail. Hmm. Hope my next game will be ready soon. Crunch the data. Take a heavy weapon. Oh no, it's D and D. If you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there's a nifty synergy with the level three rogue ability eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and autocrit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Emmy, is that proxy? <laughs> I think we found proxy. He's in this game right here. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. The two slots on it need to be filled up. Fairly certain you could use obols to activate it, but to get obols, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. Ooh, it's the double jump. Okay. I'm here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me to find something that fits our needs. A guard via pool? Not asking much, I just can't decide. I know that you can't wait, but it helps oh. to say it out loud. Okay. So he's literally not gonna let me in. Okay. I love the hat too. This bridge is cute. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary or Marguerite. It's Missy. Wait, no. Eshi. Don't tell me it's. Oh, shoot. I'll get it someday. <laughs> oh, no, Emmy. Your Tonberry is causing harm. Give, oops, give calm the furry bee. That's interesting because I thought it would only go target people who are in the chat. It's weird. It's, it's not min maxing toasty, it's synergy. <laughs> that sounds just like proxy. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Theodore. Go ahead and take a look at what she's selling. Oh, Theodore is a 
girl name. That's cute. Chip oh. right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Humminberg since forever. You've got glims. I've got the goods. Got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. Ooh, can I sell? Can you buy my junk? These are all resources. Okay. Bye. Bye. Uh, Wild Durant has appeared in chat, friends. Uh, key for Hummingbird. This key opens the door next to the broken ladder, but it costs like 50... <laughs> 500,000 things. I, I can't afford that. Turnip seeds? Am I supposed to be buying something here? What was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let them get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Sure. Alright, let's do this. Theodore, I know what you're doing here. You should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. What? Madam, what is the meaning of this? My friend here, she's the new spirit fairer. But she's not a newbie. And neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. What? I, I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Hello, Milk Art? Milk Art? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Welcome, Milk Art. Thank you for the follow. Hello, friend. Uh, just fair prices? I, I... So stop being dishonest at once. Next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But, yes. Yes, of course. I promise you, I'll adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Ooh. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some heck. You both look like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'll have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. Guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. The stairs crew forever. <laughs> Have a hug. Mm. I love that hugs are a mechanic. That's so sweet. 5,000. It's a lot cheaper. Oh, those are a lot cheaper too. Okay. Uh, the fun thing of min maxing is Eldritch Blast, Machine Gun, Sorcerer Warlock with Abusing Quicken Spell. Mix Warlock. Useful. Hello! I love your little wave. That's so cute. Welcome, Onian. How are you? Um. So, I guess we're supposed to buy that key? But I... don't think I can afford it. Hmm. What are you doing, cat? Yeah, sure, it's 8 attacks of 1d10 plus charisma damage, but it's not like they have anything better to do. Ooh. Can't go in there. I went up there. 
Yeah, warlocks don't get a whole lot of spell slots. Are you trying to come over here, cat? Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're going over there? To your little blankie? For a little snuggly snuggle? Uh, I sadly must turn in for the night, but have a lovely rest of your evening, Effector, in chat. Have, I hope you have a wonderful night, King. Thank you so much for the raid and bringing your community here. Let's give you a nice good night. And another quick shout out for our friend, King of the Cask. We appreciate you. Get some rest. Enjoy some cozy vibes. And we'll see you around, friend. I gotta click here. Cannot buy. Hmm. Can I sell something that he's gonna wanna buy? For that much? Think so. Let's go back to the boat. Check on our linen, I guess. I don't know what else I can do. People min maxing is why I don't do combat. Yeah. I've been doing some work on, oh, she needs a bed. Gotta get her a bed. I've been doing some work on putting together a Strixhaven based campaign and it's all about the RP. That is my kind of campaign. Unless there's somewhere else I can go. Oh, it's too dark. Alright, let's sleep until morning. Uh, hence why I do really dumb min-maxes like languages. <laughs> very noise, very noise. Oops, I'm petting my kitty. Okay. Let's ring our bell. Good morning, Stella. We go for an amuse bouche. So she is hungry. Okay. I can give you popcorn. Can I build any of the other item? Can I build a garden? Need lightning in a bottle. Nope. In the kitchen I already have. Where do we get lightning in a bottle from? Oh, got a little more of a map. Very nice. Guess we're gonna work on collecting some resources. What is this little bus thing? Guess we'll check that out. Oh! More water? The wheat is thirsty. Hard to see the soil though. I guess you can kind of see it on the bottom there. <laughs> uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, you can have 36 
by level seven. That is so silly in my mind. It's a lot of stuff to track, a lot of maths, so much maths. Oh, what is that? It's like a bus station? Kind of makes me think of Spirited Away. Huh. Interesting. Guess it's a transportation hub? That we don't have yet? Interesting. Well, look at all these little things on my boat. magic bus station it, it looks like one it's like a bus station in the middle of the ocean reminds me of spirited away okay so that doesn't net me anything yet but i think we will probably get these resources bye bus station train station whatever you happen to be All right, we're gonna cook some fishes. I just don't know how to get money and maybe I have to go to one of those starlight things again. I think all those yellow ones were giving me money. Okay. Got a crate full of stuff. Some stuff to dive for. Very nice. I think that's it. Cool. So I'm gonna head here again. We're gonna try to, to do that. Oh, that's got a ways to go. <laughs> hey, I love the little rainbow flag. That's actually cute. Don't know if that was intentional, but I like it. Ooh. Ooh, we got some wheat. Beautiful. Oh, great. Charlie Fisher here. Remember, you just have to crash into them. You won't get hurt, and I will feel queasy. But I know they will be back. At least it will buy me a bit more time. What do you say? Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't be scared. Okay. Go hide in your room, girl. Got this.
<laughs> Give me your jellyfish. <laughs> Stop petting your kitty. <laughs> I mean, I love petting the kitty, but I gotta get these jellyfishies. Oh my. Look at them all. All right, we got our fishies out of the oven. Our jellyfish cleared. some seeds for your field. Oh, so I just had to buy them even though I already had them. Got it. Alright, I guess we'll go buy some seeds that I have already. <laughs> another field, but I think I'll wait. I have so many of these boots. I'm noticing that we need to take another quick break. I'll be right back shortly, friends. Peace, feel free to stretch those legs. Come back in about 90 seconds or so.
Alright. We are back from our little break. We are continuing to fish the fishies. This is a very cozy game. I like it. Or butter, nothing's cooking in the kitchen. Let's head back to town and buy some seeds. I just thought since I had some in my inventory, that would have been good. bought a linen suit. Uh, Vector, how did you find this cozy game? Um, I think it was the demo that I played. I think that's how I found it, was the demo came up on Steam as like, hey, check this out. I can't remember if I had seen somebody playing it, um, but he's cute. All right, if you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. So she's happy. That quest is done. I can't afford to buy that key. If you take heavy, oh yeah. We read that one. It's the D&D one. So I'll say, is there another D&D one? It would be funny if there was. Alright, so she's going to go back to the pier. Is she going to get on my boot? Let's have a hug. Alright. What quest now? Way ahead of me, your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget, you'll probably have to water the plants. Mm -hmm. Don't ask my word for it. Gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Oh, Gwen, honey. You have to find better mentors than me, which reminds me, I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the spirit fair. And spirit fairs find spirits. Yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you'll like this one if he is who I think he is. Go, let's set sail. Okay. Where are we heading? Over there. Ooh, how do you get there, girl? If I just plot a chart through that, are we gonna make it? That weather looks scary. Alright, we are at night time. So the boat's shutting down. We've got to get some cozy rest. Those little totem things are cool. It's pretty. 
Alrighty. And we do a little stretch. Have a little jingle jing for our friend. Good morning, Stella. Let's water our plants. Alright, it is officially raining. Okay. Seems okay. Wonder if I get any different fish. In the thunder. No, oh, it's the same. It's a cozy little storm. How cute! And we're coming out the other side. I should make her some more popcorn, huh? Let's cook a turnip. Let's see what we got. Uh, Besher Crown, Bark and Shime Creek Discovered. It's pretty. We got a map. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what that blue line is. kitchen seems a little hot to me. It's interesting. Grilled veggie. Okay, got a new food. Is she hungry? Last thing, a popcorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, more trees to chop down. I love this. Find a passenger in Birchenberg Keep. And in Hummingbird. Oh, there's one in the town we were just in, too. Oop, here's our passenger. Ooh, a lemon. My lemon! This looks like a frog-o. You found it. Just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait! Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach is so empty. Maybe I could even help out on your ship with cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think much about it. Just let's go to your boat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a cozy little friend. Oh, there he is. Stella. Oh, wow. 
This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Oh, he is a big froggy. Oh, I love him. Yes. It's -a me, Stella. It's your uncle, Atul. A surprise? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. It was lonely in my thoughts. Now, I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for great adventure onwards. Wait a second, is that? Ah! Oh my gosh, look at him. I love him. Atun. I knew it. That's a Seabaster 2000. I've never seen it in action, only heard the rumors. Apparently you could catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella, you know how to treat yourself. Wait a second, you're missing a few bolts. Let me guess, you've been fishing out mostly garbage. How did he know? Well, not anymore. You'll see difference immediately. Give it a go, fair fan. Okay, so we're gonna get new kinds of fish. What are we gonna get? What? It snapped. So it changes red and you gotta stop. Okay. A squid. Yo, Squid Monarchy, we caught one of your family. I never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has got to be rattled up, which reminds me. I had this shiny thing in my pockets. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it for safekeeping. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. I'm going to go ahead and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Okay. Oh, clean off my boot. The cat, I know, he just does the silliest things. Like, he's just running on his little ball right now. He's so cute. So we need to build him a house, I imagine. You've got two obols. Remember that shrine? I'd try and add them here. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll just have wasted your time. You should go see. Can I build my uncle a house? Can I build one of these? Oh, we only have one guest house for everybody. They don't have their own little room. I think that comes later. Because I think they had their own little rooms when I played the demo. Uh, let's go to salvage first. Bye bye little island! He's just having his best life playing with his little light bulb. Fishing is harder. We got a shrimp. Well, oh, what's this? Sella, quick! This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning, but I think you should try. If you have the upper light, it will protect you. Lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. Almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world, lightning in bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here, equipped. He has a head start. Here are a few bottles for you. Don't worry, they're pretty easy. 
Just ready for the thrill of your life. All right. So we're gonna track lightning. Oh. Oh, this is cool. What a fun little mini game. Oh, missed that one. This is cute. I like it. And he's just having his best life playing his little flute. Oh, missed one. It's like we're just getting plums now. Okay. Oh no, the kitty cat! <laughs> Got shot. <laughs> Poor kitty. Is that it for this time? I wasn't sure if you were gonna make it for a second. You give your uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You look pretty awesome catching those bolts of lightning on the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have ever hoped for. You're welcome. I think I can build something now though, right? The garden. All right, what can we grow? Carrots? Turnips. Let's do a carrot. Carrot. And a turnip. And you gotta water these too. Naturally. Oops. Right, these are ready to be harvested. Got some corn and some coffee. 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 Perfect sea trash. Hey. Quick, jump in the water. There's wreckage. Shall I find helpful materials. I just love food. Keep them coming. Can't get enough. Let's give our uncle a hug. We know snuggle. Quickly. <laughs> it has the juice and the juice. It is corn, I mean, indeed. You are right. We made popcorn. It's a comfort food. All right, so what happens if I try to cook coffee beans? Whoa, look how quick that goes. Coffee is super fast. Black coffee. Ooh, 
thank you for the group hydrates. Good monarchy. Let's make sure we all get a beverage. Don't want to burn our coffee. All right, we made some coffee. Uh, if you want to get a list of them toasty, the uh, command is SFX. For now. Till I change it. <laughs> like I said earlier, we need more people. New passengers. There's got to be a few people around like I was. Well, not exactly like me. I'm aware of a few things that might go unnoticed. It's probably why my father was suspicious of me and why mom gave me a hard time for it. Oh, he's sleepy too. Sure. Sure. No, you. No, you, shame. No, you. Wonder when we can build them beds. Those poor thing, poor little creatures. All right, so we need to sleep till the morning. Let some time pass. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> All right, ring the bell. Everybody to wake up. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Sprout. Be right back, Christmas event stuff. All right, Toasty. I still have to do that. I started it and then was laughing at the idea of my creepy character in the snowman outfit gathering children and I just had to stop. <laughs> I was like, I can't. This is too much. I did make a cute Christmas card, though, that I'll send around <laughs> with my character. <laughs> Is this the D&D character? Uh, I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy... Okay, no, it's the same. Okay. We're getting some powers, y'all. Heck yeah. Me and my cat. I can double jump! Yay! That's fun. Uh, Ella, lunging down raptor claws. He drops stuff. Good, good loot. And there's three maps on this world. All right, well, good luck, friend. Get them drops. Can I go in the chimney? Hopeful thinking. Okay. It's corn. I'm just gonna buy one of each. Why not? Ooh, coffee sells for a lot. Right, jellies. Okay. Can I double check? Ooh, we can get to the top. You made it. We can move skin up here. Kind of lied earlier. It's not so great, but you're here. So it might get better. Don't have a membership card. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. <laughs> that door's locked too. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, this person doesn't have good boundaries. Yes, thought you had something to say. Oh, so I'm gonna repeat it. Hi, sheep. Hello, sheepy. Cute. Big house. Yes, young person, can I assume you're busy? Of course you're busy. Wait a sec. You don't have a full service kitchen? Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Ooh. Oh, that's on the outside. So cute, you can just peek around on the inside of these houses. Why not exit that door? Okay. Uh, jump here, and then jump here. Nothing up there. Beautiful. Key? Oh, we're sitting at the cafe. <laughs> I'm busy, miss. Me too. Ooh, another spirit. Got some citrine. Ooh, going after that Goldine Emmy. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it escaped. I'm so sorry, Abby. What? Oh, he came me such a fright. That cat, he looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? That must mean Stella. Is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And that's your boat, I see. You've come to rescue me again. Well, not so fast. This time I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet. Now let's get going. We have some lessons to go through. Okay. <laughs> Browsing for some fiber. Okay. Wonder if she likes coffee. That is one dang fine cup of coffee. Can't tell you how many cups of coffee I've had in my life, but this is certainly my favorite. Thank you so much, Stella. Have a hug. Hmm. So sweet. She doesn't like fruit. That's her favorite is coffee. Just like you, Emmy. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy a good cup of coffee. I know you do. Coffee is life for you sometimes. All right, I wonder what critter this guy is. Can I not water my vegetables? Nope, guess we gotta talk to him. Over here, little one. Ooh, Stella, all this air, all this open space. I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Is she an ostrich? Oh, she's a snake! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Look at her! She's so cute! Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Oh my gosh. She's a little snickish snake. Her name is Summer. Jeez, you got all of the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze. Feels so right. Happy to be on the ship with you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you, running our own ship, helping out these stranded souls. It really warms my heart. Glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try to make myself the least cumbersome person on this passage, except for food. Never gonna stop asking for delicious meals. Oh, a garden. Look at that, little old silly me. 
just as I was about to reprimand you for the lack of greenery on your boat, but lo and behold, you've already put together a wonderful little garden. I feel you've been an excellent student, Bella. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start on our first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. For our first lesson, we'll start something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. And as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside your garden, try planting, playing that piece to your crops. Ooh. Hold Y to play guitar. Um. Oh. Keep missing my X and my A's. Did they grow? Old X to pull. Oh my gosh, it grows your plants. That's cool. How cute. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery, and who knows? Other passengers might know a place in music too. That might help if in a good mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion, unless he's forgot something here. This is for you. Strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. We've got another opal. Doesn't tell me your foods, does it? Let me give her a hug. Hug the little sneaky lady. You're so sweet. Where's Frog then? Yoink. He likes everything. <laughs> okay. We'll give you some grilled fish. You did good. Now we've got a real boat. And you'll be able to take care of these new passengers. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before that, I've got something to ask you. You might have noticed by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not an ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting grouted in there. Look, I'm not complaining. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything, but I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. Nice little house. Unpretentious, but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read, unwind, Far from the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. I won't be pushy, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Ooh, we got a new blueprint. Ooh, okay. So Gwen wants a lodge. Can put it there. All oh, right, we built her her own little house. This cabin is outstanding. 
really does wonders have a place on your own. Does it remind you of my old condo in Waverly? Probably the only place where you get peace and quiet. Thanks, old friend. Here's your little snacky. Oh, your uncle has something. I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, but you know what would make it greater? More plans, bigger buildings, better pencils. Just saying. I'm sure Albert Shipyard could help you out. I didn't want to disturb you, but for the last several weeks I've been having dreams. They're of a giant snake, menacing reefs, and a fraught fruit. Since joining your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the error of the sea. Or maybe the mystical energies of Everly. Anyway, I'm convinced my dreams have been visions. Furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. Been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes were drawn to a spot that I marked. I think we should visit it. No point in making me wait. Okay. Even the kitties singing along. Is it because they didn't water them? Only working on one now. some seeds. So I wonder if the song works on these. Probably not because they're dry. Gotta water our plants. does work. Okay. Just one at a time. Ooh. 
make our coffee for the morning. Get some sleep. I like my little house boat that's growing. It's so cute. Hi, we are in the morning times. Let's take a look at our mappy boot. Porch dragon. So we're gonna go there first, and then we'll head, I guess, to the shipyard area. Wake up, everybody! Coffee. Well, Father, when you left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, no hate, no relief, nothing. It didn't matter. It mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Petunia's room. I think you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater had it knitted a month before. Mom was appalled, but she felt better. I've long worried why you were so sad best I could come up with was that you were sad in my stead, feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Oh, they're friends. That's cute. I like that. They're little buddies. Check this island out again, see if there's any trees or something. Things have respawned. I'm curious to check it out. Pretty kitty. Alright, so the trees respawned. Work together, chopping down the tree. The raspberries respond as well. Have a raspberry. Have a hug. Another tree chopped down. Beautiful. Okay, nothing over there. Let's head back to the ship. Come on, kitty. Wow, berries! <laughs> so over time it looks like those things respawn. Very cool. Ooh, another island over there. 
We're getting little barnacles built up. Seems to be quite a few new faces. Like it, just don't want you to forget about your old uncle. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality. Get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. Just don't think I'd have to make new friends. Don't have to worry, I'll be alright. Sorry I brought it up. Just go stand on the edge of the boat, take in the splendor. Aww. Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth, that's no fun. Okay, uncle. <laughs> So what happens if I cook a piece of wood? What does that make? In Minecraft it makes coal. Or charcoal. Alright, I give up. I'm gonna catch these barnacles off my ship. Oops. Sorts of stuff. Okay. No diving now. All right. Then he had a surprise for me. What's your surprise? Oh, he's giving me some berries. Give you a berry right back. to Albert Shipyard. See if we can upgrade our ship. Yeah. Snack would be great. Yeah. Can't eat the same thing twice. I don't hate myself that much. <laughs> Girl. You are picky. She bougie, friends. She bougie. We got coal. It does make coal, just like Minecraft. Guess you're the new spirit parrot. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. I'm sort of a wandering merchant. Very fond of things, objects, curios, tchotchkes. Just buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. What is it you want to part with? Ooh. Oh, hello, Toast the Ghost. Welcome in, friend. I think this is the first time you've been in our chat. How are you? If uh, there's a nickname other than Toast the Ghost you'd like me to use, please let me know. 
welcome in. I'm doing good. Enjoying this beautiful cozy game. So we can buy shoes, odd seeds, glass bottles. Ooh, they're expensive though. 500. What can I sell you? All right. Well, I can sell these things. Should be sold. Didn't say keep it. So we're going to sell it. Uh, most streamers and other people call me Toast. All right. We do have a community member also with the name Toasty. So now we've got Toast and Toasty. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> Is this uh, a game that you've played before? Seen? Uh, Spirit Fair? It's my first time playing it. So we're going to hold on to those shoes. They don't seem to really do anything. Errands. Daily quests. Guess we will buy one of those odd seeds. Okay. Let's see what that is. Uh, I've almost 100% done the game, just struggling with a few quests. Ah, so you're a bit of an expert of uh, Spirit Fair then. Very nice. I'm really digging it so far. The vibes are very cozy. Oop, got some fiber. Guess we'll grow some more corn. And he'll eat anything. Oh, I guess not. Um, how about fish? It's like our kitchen's ready. Got some steamed shellfish. Uh, who do you have on the boat? I have Gwen. I've got my uncle, the frog guy. And then I think Summer. Is that her name? The snake lady. So we are fresh starting. Fresh starting the game. I just picked up Summer. Stella! Been getting their mail here for the past month. Not nah, post office. You need to add a mailbox. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. Warning it. You might be a customer, but I deserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. <laughs> Fun of sleeping. He's so cute. Hi, kitty. Hello. All right, so that's just a money thing. Okay. Doo -doo. Uh, if you check their status profile thing, it says happy from a hug and you can't hug them. But it doesn't, then you can hug them. Uh, what? If you check their status profile, it says happy from a hug. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You can't hug them if they're already happy from their hug. Got it. Uh, I need linen thread and maple planks. I do not have those to make a mailbox. Looks like maybe these things make one. So we'll buy that. And this makes our boat bigger. So we'll buy that. That I cannot afford. And that I cannot make. But our boat's a little bit bigger. Perfect. <laughs> But if it doesn't, I mean, okay, gotcha. Oh, who's got a quest for me now? I don't have anything to do. I've got this energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece. I need a place to focus, like a sawmill. Yeah, you're missing some of the key components. Materials, which I'm sure you can find on islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? <laughs> Uh, there are two toasts in this chat. It's making me hungry. Indeed. Was recently hugged. 
Okay. I didn't give you a hug, Summer. What should I feed you? Um, how about these steam shellfish? Oh, no, no, no. I don't eat any animal product. Or breast milk, nor ova. No meat. Okay, so she's, she's vegan. So that means, um... Either poached fruit or popcorn. Ooh, grilled veggie. I'm sure she'll eat that. You've upgraded your boat? That's weird. Don't tell Abbott, but he left some bolts loose. He's probably just in a hurry. Give me a second. Here we go. I'm too much of a Pokemon fan not to catch this. A Pawniard? Pawniard? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I am a noob to Pokemon as well. I just started playing Pokemon Violet. It's been really cute. Very cozy. Oh, mama. That did more than I thought. Let's see here. This boat's got some advanced options now. First up, you can travel safely and not go through all the dangers that the sea has to offer. When you're using a map, you just need to struggle on safe travel mode. It's that simple. Don't worry. I won't stay on the boat forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. Hope that helps. What else do we have? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. Set your course, let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat in more room. Well, have fun. Uh, don't spoil it, haven't got to the game. I will not spoil it. We are avoiding spoilers in this chat. So he wants a sawmill. We need to make linen threads. Oh, thank you for the follow, Toast. Appreciate you. Thanks for taking a dip into the little cozy pond. In order to make a loom, we need some quartz. Okay. That smelts. Logs into planks, fibers into thread. Okay. So, there's nothing I can build there. Don't have any other houses to build. It has the juice. Could potentially build another gardener field, but I don't think I want to do that. I want to build this. So I got to find some quartz out there in the world. Oh, they're still sleeping in this little house. It's so sad. They need houses. <laughs> These poor characters. These dry up quickly. Thanks for the redeeming up corn. We also have a few random uh, commands in the chat to check your levels. Corn being one of them. <laughs> I am 83% harmonizing with the corn today. Oh, hold. Got some carrots. Very cheeky. Oh, only 17%. Ooh, what do we grow? Let's grow this odd seed. See what happens. It's a mystery. Oh, hey, Emmy. It's going after obsessive, huh? I think Obsessive is streaming. A boah ha 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 You monster. He's lurking. He is streaming. Gotcha. So mean. Ooh, Squid Mutter. Okay, 40%. Toast is 68% chaotic. Very nice. You are quite mild. Indeed. Alright, so before we check the farms, we're going to look at our map. What do we have now? Ooh, what's that? A wandering merchant. Okay, don't need that. But there's this new island, I think. Travel in safe mode. I want to go here.
<laughs> you want a snacky snack? Have some coffee. Oh, um, have some popcorn. Let's see, what can we cook here? Lots of fish. Guess we're gonna cook the fish. Hopefully we don't burn it. Ooh, 19%. You tried again. 81%. There you go. That's pretty, pretty good there. We love our biscuits in this earth, uh, stream. <laughs> Get some carrots. More cheeky carrots, please. Emmy, your chaos has dripped down. <laughs> there. Trying to get that middle one watered. Did not want to be watered. Looks like we've got some coffee beans ready to go. Fifty percent. How about your cozy level toast? What's your cozy level? I'm only fifteen percent cozy. <laughs> Agronomical engineering class is seventy-one. Top grades and a progressive profile. You did beat me at seventy-four percent. Good job hide right away but one of these big corporations they put me in charge of a large parcel of land several thousand acres to maximize the output of our land assets well that's what i did believe me i did it well crammed a field full of transgenic seeds when insects came i doused them with poison when the poison turned gray i pumped it full of chemicals great powerful stems grew on those grounds Plentiful, unnaturally enormous cobs, but underneath all laid an unfathomable sickness. Guess it was inevitable that I met with the dragon then, sooner or later. <laughs> okay. It's a little sus. Empyrean Rose, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Hello, friend. How are you? Happy midweek cozies. That's still cooking. Okay. Where is everybody? You're good. Let's give you a hug. Nope. She doesn't want to be hugged. She's happy. She's having these bad dreams. I wonder how we help her with that. Uh, hi, you tired, but good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm trying out a cozy new game. I'm loving it. Ooh, you can catch different fish when it rains. I thought you might be able to get different ones when it rains. Let's try it. But yes, I'm doing good. It's been a pretty good week so far. Things are light at the office. It's been nice. I'm just amazed that we are nearly at the end of 2022 already. It's been quick year, it feels, for me. Ooh, we got an eel. Cute. Are we still going somewhere? We did get there. Okay. Ooh, I wonder what this dragon's about. Does he drop quartz? Hmm. Alright, let's check this island first. What? What is this? Oh, I'm inside my room. Like, why is that lighting up? I'm gonna go to the island. Have you uh, played Spirit Fair before, Empyrean Rose? By the way, if there is a name other than Rose or Empyrean Rose you'd like me to use, uh, let me know. 
guess I can give you a quick welcome command as well. Welcome on in. Hey, I came here to cut down these trees, but forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing my time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. I'm sure it's not terrible. I'm sure it's lovely. I love the axe. Me and my kitty cat. Just working together. Chopping these trees. The power of friendship. <laughs> uh, have not froze works well. Okay. Not a problem. Yeah, it is my first playthrough. I had played the demo for this game a bit ago. But I haven't actually had a chance to play the game. So... We are still in the beginning. I'm loving the vibes of it. The art's beautiful. The music is nice and cozy. The mechanics are really fun. It's really cool. And you get to hang out with the kitty cat. Well, we got a valuable ring. We did not get any poetry. Okay. Anything down there? Nothing down there. Okay. <laughs> Guess that's all that was on this island. Unless there's poetry past my boot. Nope. Okay. So I guess let's go meet whatever this dragon guy is. See what he's about. And while we're doing that, we're going to, I guess, make sure we pop into the kitchen. Empty the stove here. We got lots of grilled fish. She doesn't like berries, so let's give her some fish. And a little huggy poo. into something. I think he's at the end of my ship. Oh, he is. Ooh, this. I thought that might be it. The dragon guess it is inevitable it would be here. Following me always, even in this world, our destinies, well, they're intertwined. Are they not? Still, for all the harm it's done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? Rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Okay. There you go. This is cute. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I like this. We get resources by helping our little dragon friend. How cute. And quartz is exactly what we need. It's like combat, but not combat. 
It's much more chill. I love this. Makes me think of the dragons in Breath of the Wild that drop all the little pretty things when you get them with your bow. That's cool. Is he happy now? He looks happier. Looks relieved, doesn't it? Wonder what that means. If we cross this path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Bye, Mr. Dragon. She did not like that. That's a really cool inclusion that they made her uh, a vegan character. So when you make choices to give her food items, she wants vegan items. That's really cute. I don't think I've seen that done in a video game, so easily okay so we should be able to build a loo where did I put it here or down here let's put the loom here What's this? Improve. Ooh. We can improve things. You add hanging. That's why it's so bare bones, because you have to improve it. So the next improvement for Gwen's Lodge is you get a cozy little reading corner. I love that. Wall decorations, her favorite books. That is cute as heck. I love that. You add hanging lights. That's really cute. Are my peeps in here happy? You're happy. You're hungry. Give you some fish. This loom looks fantastic, don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside and then spin. Just make sure you hit the target and you'll get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See, pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber, okay. Good job. cute we crafting y'all oops see not that hard getting tired i think bedtime hope rest of stream goes well for you thank you for stopping in Let's get you a little good night message there, tuck you in, get some good rest. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you get the sweetest of dreams and we'll catch you around, friend. Take care. Sheen does all the work, just had to flow with it. It's what makes it so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feels, so satisfying. I'll probably give it a go when you don't need it. Don't worry about the materials, I'll manage. Okay, so we've got a loom now. That's cool. Uh, Jelly Duck, hello, another new friend. Welcome on in. I think I saw you followed me the other day. I think I must have given you a follow as well. Someone shouted you out. I don't remember who though, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome on in. Uh, if there's a nickname you prefer to use, please let me know. Love your screen name. That is so precious. Jelly Duck, it's so cute. Ooh, look at all that corn we just got. Very nice. We can make lots of popcorn now. Some snacks for our friends. 
Oh no, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, guess we'll press some more linen. Here we go. Cook. Four, five. I'm gonna make some popcorn. Yeah, it's good to see you. I'm new here. Welcome in, friend. Uh, if you haven't met me before, I'm Effector of Change, a bit of a embracer of cozy chaos, more on the cozy side than the chaos side, but I uh, love storytelling, uh, RPGs, cozy games. Right now we are playing Spirit Fair, which has been a really fun game so far. It's super cute. Have you played this one before? What are some of the games that you'd like to play? Curious to hear. Uh, da, 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 da. Guess we're gonna put it there. Is our froggo friend gonna be like, let me in there? Ooh. This place looks fancy as heck. Oh, that's the door. Oh, it's double doors. How cute. All right, so you put wood. What does it do? Make sawdust? Did I break it? Okay. Well, that's that. <laughs> Yes, this is my first playthrough of this game. Ooh, message in a bottle. Does that actually have a, a message? Lightning in a bottle, bright jelly. Fruits and vegetables. Oh, there's all the fishies, ingredients. Cabin. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a lemon that's made of plastic. I didn't realize that. That's funny. Uh, open. A lumberjack without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't feeling the cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. Hmm. Oh, that's the poem the the one guy was talking about that he had left behind. Got it. That's so cute. So Spirit Fair, if you haven't played before, from what I gather, it's a, a bit of a resource um, management game, kind of like a town sim, except the town that you're in is this little houseboat and we've been given the role of being the next spirit fair by karen and so we're kind of exploring these islands and picking up lost spirits and we're kind of fulfilling their needs for their final days um before we help them you know pass on so you learn a little bit about their lives, and some of them, it sounds like, have a personal relationship with our main character. Like the froggy guy is my uncle. <laughs> I forget his name, Ahmed or something like that. He's really cute. Got an eel. All right, I think we're gonna get some sleep. Pray water our plants. So it looks like at night you can just kind of continue to do farming while your villagers are asleep or your 
passengers, I should say. Alright, we're gonna get some rest. Love that it zooms out so you get to see our whole boat. Take a look at our map. So that's the Wandering Merchant. We checked with him. Do, do, do. Raspberry. We've been there. Old Harbor. I don't know where I should head next. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm not trolling. My actual real name is Ahmed. I'm living in Kuwait. Oh, gotcha. Let me see. Where's the uncle? What was his name? Oops. Oh. They're still asleep. Let me wake them up. Hold on. Ring, ring, ring. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> oh, he's running up here. He's excited. This looks amazing. Thanks for helping me out. So the sub is so big. What a beauty. It's just one problem. Don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. That's why they call it a fever. You'll see what I did there. Thanks again, Sprout. A tool. A tool. You should name drop a tool. He's super cute. He needs food. Let's give him a berry. He loves all the foods. And we'll give him a hug. He's my uncle. Stella, I've got to tell you, there's something I stumbled upon, and up till now it didn't seem important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as it sounds, it's not too far. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. Must admit, been actively trying to avoid it. Hey, Ray, it's become hard to ignore. I spent much time with you. I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. Probably only find regrets and sorrows here. It's worth a shot. Bad of the location your map. I'll be ready when you are. Hi, right, so we've got a new location. She'd like us to go check out her parents' house. Interesting. Oops. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure the measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice and cut. Just need to keep your saw blade steady on the cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing your pinky or an arm. Something worse. Hit from the old hammer. Good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Okay. Oh. I see. That's what I messed up. Let's try again. Whoops. <laughs> Much smoother. There we go. That's really cool. A uh, very interesting game, by the way. It is an interesting game. Nice catch, bro. You just fished out a bottle from the sea. It's not trash. Could be anything. Tiny ship. Hold well, on, baby crap. Could be a trash. Go ahead and crack it open. Oh, I think I already did that. Oh, maybe not. Greetings from Furogawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest and the serenity of the magnificent rice fields available in Gurunu Fields. Must be a new location on our map. Would you look at that? You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Oh, hello. Hi. Hero! Oh my gosh. Welcome in. Gotta get through the music first, though. Welcome in, raiders. Hello, Plunge. Hello, friends. I'm a Trojan raider. <laughs> oh. 
Oh gosh. Let me get a shout out for the lovely Plunge. Plunge is a good friend of mine and a fantastic retro streamer. Uh, oops, that's not the right command. Hold up. I got this. I know how to stream. There it goes. Uh, if you like some cozy vibes, shoes. Oh my god, shoes. Plunge coming in, bringing in the chaos uh, to our cozy. <laughs> But yes, uh, Plunge is a fabulous retro streamer, folks. Please give him a follow. You will not regret it. The community that he has gathered on Twitch is inspiring. They are all wonderful humans, and I love hanging out with Plunge. Uh, Raiders, if you don't know me, I am a Fector of Change. Uh, my pronouns are he, they. I'm a cozy queer streamer here on Twitch, pretty new to the scene mostly into rpgs today we are playing a cozy game called uh spirit fair which is a little bit of an indie game about helping some spirits cross into the next world and kind of fulfilling their last needs of life that's a very nice chill experience we're having but welcome on in we love our lurkers in our channel here yes uh, if you need to raid and run or you want to take a lurk, feel free to do that. My recommendation, if you've been streaming for a while, please stretch out those legs. Um, and if you are going to hang out with us, go top off your beverage. Maybe grab a little snack, a nice warm blanket, and uh, we're going to dive back into a little more cozy gaming. But yes, a welcome in Plunge. How was your stream? How did things go? I know you're working pretty hard on that shuffler. It looked like you had like 20 of your games finished? That's pretty impressive. Or was it 21 I saw? Uh, gotta go like a champ. Just remember to be careful with this sawmill. Don't go and mess around dangerous saw blades because you've left over wood. Doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. All right. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. All right. Ooh, you beat Sonic too. You only have seven games left. That's awesome. You've been chopping it up with the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now you've got some materials. Maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. It's nothing fancy. Pretty basic. Just a few hinges here, a few nails there. Oh! I've already got some materials. Build me something nice. I'm asking not only for me, but for my crew. Apparently got snore at night. Loudly, according to your friend Gwen. Alright, we need to build him a house. Okay. Build... A tools workshop. Ooh, I need more linen. Three more linen thread and a bunch more maple planks. So we cannot build that just yet. Okay. Is Sonic 2 the one that um, you were playing plunge that was pretty dodgy that you had to save state your way through? Or is that a different one that was on your shuffler? That game looked hard, the one that I'm referencing. We crafting. We crafting. We got our little cozy loom here. Okay. And I got lots of linen threads. Let me see if I've got enough to build this house for that. Yep. So we need maple planks <laughs> okay there's some more linen seeds some coffee seeds as you know I tend to get hungry that's just a fact of life sometimes when I do I get hungry for specific things your aunt Viv would call it a laser focused tummy don't get me wrong Sully, pretty much whatever you put in front of me, just like for you to put some effort. I'll give you a shout, and I'm craving. Hopefully, I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never knew what this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. All right. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? So she's vegan. So let's make sure we give her something. Got some coffee. She's so sad. She's having a hard time. 
she was having bad dreams and then she had to see her PTSD triggers were, were triggered. But she's vegan, which I think is so inclusive of a game. Uh, is this kind of inspiring of Noah's Ark? I would, don't think so. The animals, I think, are really just a representation of their spirits. Not quite the same. And we're not pairing them up for anything. We are just fairing their spirits uh, from this world until we take them to the next. Not that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. She's so sassy. Mm. She loves coffee. Mm. Alright, she doesn't need a hug. She's good. Did we hug our uncle today? I think we did. Yes. Okay. Y'all, don't forget to hug your uncle. Apparently that's important. <laughs> so, we are ready to travel to our next destination then. She said she was thinking of her parents. Is that what this is? Villa Magore? Yep. But I think there was another island that we learned about from a message in a bottle. I was just curious if it's on the map. Ooh, that must be what this is right here. Garinu Fields. Ooh. We're going to go there first. I'm totally off my pre-rolls, y'all. If you got ads, feel free to let me know and I will pause the stream. Although, I guess you wouldn't be able to hear that if you're in an ad right now. So if you get ads, <laughs> oh, let me know. I will pause the stream so you don't miss anything. You're gonna go, all uh, right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. Not sure what your uh, time zone is at this moment. I'm sure it's a little bit uh, off compared to mine, but I hope you have a fabulous time zone wherever you are doing whatever it is you're doing. I will not be able to give you a good night command at the moment. Oh, I'm catching some lightning. But, uh, thank you. 7.30, all right. Have a wonderful day, then. Have a wonderful start to your day. Thanks for starting it here with us. That's so nice. Appreciate you, friend. It's wonderful to meet you. Stay safe. And we'll see you around. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to catch all this lightning. This is such a fun minigame. <laughs> You're just catching lightning, y'all. It's like catching lightning bugs, but actual lightning. <laughs> eh. Oh, missed that one. We're getting money out of it, so I guess it's uh, worth it. Or whatever the currency is. Okay, now I can give you a good night. There we go. Let's water our plants. There we go. Fantastic. He's hungry again. Have some popcorn. Need to make some more food. Welcome back, Toasty! Did you uh, find your Santa Claus reindeer, whatever guy it was, dropping his stuff, his loot?
A uh, word, Stella. Okay. Ooh, Garinu Fields Discovered. What a cute little island. I like the little volcano mountain in the back. Been really irritating. I'm afraid to say it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit noisy, quite cramped. Hate to ask, really, but maybe you could arrange for me to have a little private space? So she wants her own room. Yay! Just a place to sleep and to meditate with lush greenery. And I'd be delighted if I had some natural stones. That'd be splendid. Thank you. Okay, so we've got another house to build for Stella. Uh, only one good thing, though. Ooh, what's the one good thing, Toast? Toasty. She needs 12 oak planks. Ooh, I don't think I have any oak wood. And we need 30 maple planks? minigame is not as easy as the sewing one. Oh, that one was pretty good. I use the D-pad, it's a little easier instead of the um, jab, whatever they're called. The Sticky things. Okay. Just a little bit of that one. Perfect. Alright. I wonder if I have enough to build his house or workshop, whatever it was called. I do have enough to build his workshop, but his workshop is huge. Um, guess we can put that there. All right, those can combine. That's good. Can this go back here? Oh no, it deletes it. Okay. That's the meeting house. Fire it in. Our house over there. Kitchen's a little baby house. like a puzzle to get all these buildings to fit. Um, okay. That there. Okay. There it goes. Whew. His workshop is huge. Sorry. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Only one good thing, though. Uh, I'll explain like you know what I'm talking about. I get Ascend, Sight, and Gear, which is already one of the better feats in the game by default. Ascended is the best Twitch in the game, of tier in the game, if I can recall. But it's not that times 4.7, if I can math good. <laughs> so it's good, but not good? Is that is that the vibe, Toasty? Like it's not the, the highest tier good, but still good? 
Is that what you mean? I'm a visitor. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furogawa tours? Of course you are. You're holding our brochure. This tour is about to start. It takes five minutes. Covers the history and floor of the island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry. There's no gift shop. Ready? Yeah. Let's start right away. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. Uh, TLDR, one of the better gears in the game. It's a full set in one. Sweet. But the real question, Toasty, does it look good? Because if it don't look good, doesn't matter what the stats are, in my opinion. <laughs> People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. It's something you'll notice with the fauna. Uh, rice patches and healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. All right, so we're doing a little island tour. Very cute. I like that. Look at how big that mountain is up there. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one's around. I'm not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I'm off duty. But that's besides the point. Off to our next stop. Don't get too close. Ooh, look at these pretty white trees. That's cool. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's the hard shell-like flesh of dinos, to put it bluntly, so not really. Toasty, glam is the true end game of life. Oh, we chopping this tree down. Okay, all right. Me and my kitty friend are just coming in here, stealing your wood. Hopefully it's an oak tree. It is an oak tree. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection, a strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour. If we can move along. That would be great. Very well. She doesn't like it when you step on her. Look at all these trees. I'm going to take their wood. I got another room to make. Wonderful. This is this fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole island. We're not sure when it was first planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. Um, you can have a pug, bulldog, angler, fish hybrid. I can sit my shoulder so glam isn't the true end game. <laughs> this concludes our tour. For our tours, is grateful for your presentation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 glims. Sure. I'll give you some tips. That's nice. Uh, mech suits are yes a game about dinosaurs has a mech suit of course it does i've played chrono uh chrono trigger you know you go to prehistory and you fight all the dinosaur guys and then you know you then go to the future and you get the robots this makes sense Down there. Some citrine. Ooh, how do we get up there? Hello, Mr. Spirit. Hi. I can't get up there to visit you. Disappointing. No, I can shoot a T-Rex with a sci-fi railgun on the back of a wyvern. Yeah, that's that's basically Chrono Trigger. Ooh, we got strawberries. This is my uncle. Okay. What a pretty island. I 
I just want big borbs and shoulder pads. All right. You know what you like, Toasty, and that's important. <laughs> and wyverns. Wyverns. So I don't think that I'm burning food, but I don't really know. Oh, the shopping guy. Fashion is the true endgame. You get it, Squid Monarchy. All right, what can we sell you? Here's a valuable ring. Proof that beautiful does not mean expensive. Bye. Empty bottles. Buy five of those. Oh, he also has the other thing too, right? Errands. We need a grilled veggie. Uh, recipes. We need a root veggie. making your thing. Let's wake everybody up. My funny Dilo. Yes, the acidic poison spitting ones from the Jurassic Park. Have a raspberry. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, friend. Have some popcorn. Always go for a little snacky poo, something salty, something buttery, something of flavor. You'll be perfect. A big old bag of popcorn. I can do that. Give. Popcorn. Oh, he misses his children. Just improve your kitchen. Some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right. All right, we got a kitchen upgrade. Which I think I need to... Well, let's first talk to you. Ooh, you. For those 2,000 glimps. Okay. What has he got now? You completed your first errand. What a great haul. There's plenty more to do. If you ever feel like I'll always be around. Okay. Can't wait to get something short eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. Won't forget this. All right. So he's got his own little workshop. Oh, look at him. He's building. What a cutie. He has safety goggles on. He does. <laughs> That's adorable. That's cute. I love that for him. Alright, so that's the workshop. We need to make some oak logs. Has technology built into it. Sorry, Tuesday. Uh, because it's a simulation after the fall of the human race. So is the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Post apocalyptic for sure. Obviously, a game about dinos doesn't take place in the past. Why would it? Why not? Time travel, Toasty. Have you never seen Doctor Who? All 
Arc Survival Evolved is the name. You're on an arc. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Guardian. Uh, not Guardian. I was just reading the chat. Um, arc is not uh, a vibe for me. Okay, so we can build Summer Sanctuary. Maybe. Where do I put it? Summer, where can I put your sanctuary, girl? Um, let's move you here, you here, you here, put you back there, put you here. You there. Put you there. Can I put you here? No. Can I put you here? I can. Okay. Hmm. you here. Hi. I think I need a bigger ship though. Uh, there's only one level that takes place on Earth, two in space. By any means, it's hard and doesn't explain everything to you, and it's a lot to remember to take in. I still die because I don't remember simple things. Anyway, I haven't really gotten what this game's about. Is it a resource gatherer or more of a story game? It is both of those things, Toasty. So we are a spirit fairer. So we are working to help spirits move on to the next world by doing various cozy tasks. Okay, you can go here. You can go there. You can go there. Can this go up one? Can. Okay, can I fit it now? No. Ah! <laughs> I can't build her house and it makes me really sad. I want to build her house. But I can't fit it. My, I, my boat's not big enough. So it is very much both, Toasty. We are kind of wandering, gathering spirits, helping them move on to the next world. And while we're doing that, we also have our boat that we uh, are growing some crops on. We've got some crafting and we've got to make them food and recipes. So they are very happy. Linen fabric. I don't think I can make it work. I think I literally need to build uh, a new thing. Or upgrade the boot. So I put you over here. Okay. 
<laughs> this is just becoming silly now. Leave that box there. Let's put our gardens with each other, shall we? Alright, there's our gardens next to each other. Where was our kitchen? Here's our kitchen. <laughs> What's this? Nothing? Put this down here. We can. So those line up nicely. Can't really put that there. And put it there. Normally only see that with the type of games I play like Last of Us. Just realize how many games I play with a vague story. I hope he will. You'll make it work. Uh, if you're trying to play Hangman Toasty, you just gotta guess a letter. Hangman and then a letter. There you go. Yep, I can't build that thing. How sad. I want to build it. Ooh, getting a little bit bigger. Got the countryside, Mount Toriyama. Are those a thing yet? We're gonna go here. I think that's where we should go next. I spent a lot of time <laughs> trying to get this all to fit. Ooh, a good gas, but that isn't you, eh? some more coffee. It's corn. So this was mystery seeds. Ooh, old carpet, empty shell. All right, so it drops a bunch of miscellaneous items that we can sell to the vendor. Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> What is this word? I don't know, Tusty. I haven't a clue. Emmy, you were part of the raid, it looks like, from our friend Plunge. Do do do. Popcorn? Uh, wrong, wrong toast. <laughs> Emmy, we have two toasts now. We have toast and then toasty. Oh, I wanted to try to upgrade my kitchen. That's another thing I wanted to look at. Improve. Oh, I need linen fabric. How do I get linen fabric? Can I craft that? Linen thread. No, I can't craft linen fabric. I know it's so funny. Sometimes when I'm, um, I guess we need another blueprint. When I'm playing, it's really, or playing, when I'm watching people stream and I'll have multiple tabs open and then suddenly like you get to that point in the evening and your tabs slowly start merging into each other. <laughs> Because <laughs> people are raiding into one another. It's really cool. I really like that. Alright guys, I'm peeking at the clock. This game has been really fun. Um, but we've been streaming for almost four hours. It's a little after 12 o'clock. So I'm thinking it's probably time to wrap up stream here and uh, get another raid started. So let me... 
figure out how do I save my game? I like this game a lot, y'all. It's really cute. Super cozy, super chill. Very much recommend. I might play this again next week. Because it's been super fun. All right, let's see who of our friends is on at the moment streaming. I saw a few people popping on during our breaks. Let's see who's on. What kind of vibe do you guys want to jick into? I could look at a new person. Let's see, we've got KP is on streaming Final Fantasy VII. She's still working on her first playthrough. Uh, Plunge rated us, Toasty. Plunge is done for the evening, y'all. Uh, Loverish is playing Call to the Lamb. Yeah, definitely take the plunge. Let me do another shout out for Plunge then. There you go, Toasty. Let me help you out. <laughs> Tabitha's on and then Obsessive. You know, I haven't raided KP in a while. I think I might pick KP. Let me see what she's doing right now. Last time I was checking her out, she was um trying to figure out her controller. It wasn't working. It wasn't vibing. It was really sad. Poor KP. But we haven't raided KP in quite a while. I think that's probably where we're going to go tonight. So let me get our raid message set up. E S K P A D E. Before we go, what's up, Toasty? <laughs> All right, looks like she's good. We're, she's playing good. All right, so I'm going to plug our socials. If you aren't already part of the. Uh, Discord, the Cozy Frog Pond. There is a link there. All my socials are linked on my card. Um, my Twitter, my uh, YouTube channel is on there, my TikTok, lots of things that if you want to stalk me on the internet and see me on any other content I'm creating, feel free to go check that out. Um, pop into the Discord anytime you like. We are a cozy little community that's growing over there. And I'm going to print for you our raid messages. So that top one, feel free to copy that if you'd like to participate in our raid to get some channel points and some positive vibes. And the second one there on the bottom is for subscribers to the channel. So we are going to raid KP, who's playing her first playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. We're kind of like opposites. She's working her way down the main titles, and I'm working my way up. I'm currently on Final Fantasy IV, which is kind of fun. Maybe we'll meet in the middle at Final Fantasy VI, maybe five. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let's quickly roll our credits. Uh, thank you again for everybody joining us. We got two cozy, wonderful raids, one from King, one from Plunge. Appreciate you both for sharing your communities with us. Emmy, resubscribe to our channel, which is always cozy. Appreciate that about you, Emmy. And we had a number of members of our community pop in and join us tonight. So I will be back tomorrow, uh, continuing our playthrough of Chrono Cross. We're still working on getting all those cozy little characters, and we just kind of hit a different vibe as we are entering the new world as a new character. So if you'd like to join us, we'll be back tomorrow at 8.30 Eastern Standard. Until then, stay cozy, friends, and uh, have a wonderful evening.